What up boys and welcome back to another video. So I'm currently uh, uploading a bunch of videos that I have pre-recorded because when you're watching this video I'm currently super busy live streaming myself over at Twitch TV slash Student Albatross uh, leveling from 60 to 70. But I didn't want that to get in way of the YouTube content so I've made a ton of videos of farms that you can do to uh, combine the XP gain with gold making and I've already done uh, five videos uploaded so far so if you missed out on any of them then just go to my channel and check them out so this is the last farm in Sangamarsh before we head over to the next zone and before we dive into the information about this video I do want to mention that you guys can still get the complete gold guide for classic TBC and you will get it for 50% off using the code TBC. And it's nearly 100 pages long with some of the best gold farms in Classic TBC. And I'm going to like just focus on updating the book frequently. So if you guys have bought the book or you're planning uh, on buying the book, just know that every single update that gets done to the book will be sent automatically to your email for free. So this farm right here, it's slightly different than some of the other farms that I've featured because there's no crafting regent or uh, anything like that. Well, there kind of is because we're, we want to kill all the, the feral kin mobs uh, that uh, are in Sanga Marsh. And there's a ton of them. All the feral kin mobs can be found at these huts right here, like down in the middle of the map south. Or you can kill them all the way down here in the, the southeast corner of the map. But also all the way up north, like uh, northwest on the map where you see these huts. And the reason why you want to kill these uh, mobs right here is because it's different from some of the other farms. And if that happens to be crowded, you can go and kill these guys. And if we, for instance, look at the mob that I'm uh, looking at right now, which is the, uh, the Feral Fen Hunter, you can see that they drop unidentified plant parts similar to the previous video that I made uh, with the Bug Lords, which is a reputation item that people will buy. And you can also use it yourself if you want the reputation. But besides from that, they also drop Nether Weave Cloth. It's the first video that I featured so far where you can grind out for Nether Weave Cloth. And the best part, like sure, they drop Nether Weave Cloth and they also dropped the unidentified plant parts. But the best part is how easy they are to kill. So you can go here, like you could kill these at 60, but I would recommend you to be like 61, 62 when you kill them and they just absolutely melt and the respawn rate on these guys is not bad at all. So make sure you go to Sangamarsh, you try out the farm, let me know how it goes for you. And if you're interested in more of these videos, then just subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading very frequently uh, in these uh, first couple of days of the release of Classic TBC. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Until then, bye bye.